I saw my mom selling ice water, I know what they call ice water, with me and James. You know, uh, the love she showed me even with the little she had, and all that, you know, buying football shoes for me and doing everything. You know, so, uh, for the memory I have in my head, it's a caring mother that gave me life first. After giving me life, gave me all I had today, all this I have today, if it's not for, first of all, God. After God is her. If you do not buy me football shoes, if you do not pay for my training dues, if you do not pay for transport for me to travel, to go play Julius Berger friendly game, where they pick me to start my career in Julius Berger, I won't be where I am so today. So I don't joke with my mother. My father is late, she's all I got, apart from my children. So that's why I say me, I want to give her the best. All what I'm doing for, for Anna is nothing compared to what she has done for me. So I just try my best to, to keep her happy. Pray God give her more long life to eat the fruit of all what she has suffered. I'm not the favorite child because my, uh, we, are, we are six, seven siblings. So my mom loves all of us equally, you know. But I'm the last born with my twin sister, you know, so that's why, you know, he still call us the baby because we are the last born, you know. So even sometimes I get tired for some things she does, you know, treating me like a baby. I'm a matured man with three kids and all that, you know. So, but he said in her eye, I will always be the baby, you know. So childhood memory, remember I was eating in, in one plate sharing food, cutting tiny meat to share for everybody, siblings sleeping in one, two bedrooms, how many of us and all that, you know? So all those things, looking back at it is, is great, you know, because I feel that shaped my life, make me feel, try to be humble as I can and just appreciate life and appreciate my mom. Shababia ila Ikano, Ikano yuhawali yonsad the goal! Yonsad the goal! Goal! Just get out of trouble. I don't do party that much once in a while. I try to rest as much as I can. As I can, I sleep a lot. Everybody knows that nobody can take my sleep away from me because I know when I rest more, when I sleep more, I function more. So I know my body, and I try to, to be disciplined. I know what is good for me and what is not good. And I try them, I put them into practice and it's working, so why not? Nigeria is a big country, you know. If you have the opportunity to be called upon to play, you, it's a privilege, you know. So, I left the national team because I was playing in China then and I got injured, my club was not happy and all that, you know, so that distance traveling was too much for me, you know. But ever since then, getting a truck been pushing me to come back, Amaju there too and all that, you know. So I needed them when, after the World Cup, things happened, you know. They give me the opportunity to be back and do well. So now they say they need me in the team, even though we have Victor Simeon doing well, we have strikers doing well. They need me, they say they need my experience and all that. So I can't turn down people that was dead for me before. So I have to I have to come up and say, okay, it's my country. As long as my leg is still functioning, as I'm still playing, I'm still scoring goals in my club, so why not? If you can see every country I've played, I've, I played more than, more than a year or two there. So. Me, I'm a journeyman. I like to try new challenge. I've played in seven different countries. 17, this is my 17th year in professional football, 15 years outside Nigeria and all that. So I'm happy and I want to keep going. And now I'm in Saudi Arabia. I'm happy they're doing well. Only God knows the next destination. Now I'm enjoying my football in Saudi Arabia, if the opportunity come back to Europe again, why not? I'll take it. Shukran.